kilda. The other day I posted a, an update on my weaving page that spoke of, I guess, my distaste at uh, the term kōrawai being used for things that are not kōrawai. Um, and I'm talking about strips of fabric or squares of fabric that have um, strips of feathers sewn on using a sewing machine. Unfortunately, there are some weavers who thought I was talking about the materials. It's not so much the materials that I was showing my distaste at, it was the use of a sewing machine and using the term kōrawai when speaking of these blanket type things. Um, I just felt that using the term kōrawai was belittling or it was taking away the specialness of a garment that could take up to nine months to weave by hand. I understand that there are some weavers who find it really hard to access flax needed to, to make mocha. I understand that there are a lot of weavers who live overseas and they find it hard to get the right flax that is needed for mocha. I'm not a mocha snob, I'm not against cotton, in fact I am weaving with cotton now. Uh, I am weaving a, a hieke or a rain cape for one of my sons to wear as a kaihoi when he's uh, on the canoe, so a paddler on the canoe. And I can't be too precious about how he treats it. Um, I can't worry about him getting off the waka and taking this off and leaving it on the riverbank so he can go and do his thing. I have to be practical about it all. And so I have no problems at all weaving out of cottons. So I hope that clears things up. Uh, yeah, okay, kia ora.